Yo guys, how you doing? It's me, Tommy Roney 123 bringing you guys another Pro Clubs build video. Today we're talking about the Centre Mag build, because I think it is one that I haven't updated them, like, the most recently, if you get what I mean, because I've been updating all of them, but not the Centre Back one. And guess what? A lot of people are coming to me saying, Tom, are you going to use right wing back? Are you going to use right back? Listen. Everything's going to get answered in the video, so make sure to click like, make sure to click subscribe if you are new, check out my latest Ultimate Team Draft to Top 200 Glory video. Um, we're going to be bringing out those daily now, guys. Let's get straight into it then. 6 foot 2, 149 pounds. That's the first thing, guys. The reason why 6 foot 2 is because, you know, 6 foot 1, 6 foot feels a bit too small. You're not going to pull off a Sergio Ramos just because of how the game is. But you want to make sure you're also quick, you know. I mean, if you put yourself on 152, I'm going to try and do it very lightly here, guys, as you can see. Um, it, you lose a bit of acceleration and pace. You don't want that, guys. So put it on 149 and you should be okay. If I can measure it out guys i'm absolutely useless at this comment down below if you struggle with this as well 149 because that is the benchmark um for you to have that pace and acceleration guys but at the same time you obviously have your other stats boosted and that is the key thing guys and yes i did change it now guys if you want to play center back make sure it's a left or right wing back now, not fullback, wing back. Reason for that, pace. It's literally just pace, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, it is pace. It gives you so much more pace. And at the end of the day, uh, you know, you're going to be facing five or four midgets, spinning around, you know, running around, causing riot. You don't want that. You know, you have to deal with it. So your riot shield is literally your right wing back, left wing back position. That is going to give you that extra pace, extra agility and balance as well, which will allow you to obviously deal with them one-on-one uh, -on -one situations uh, when you're defending. Obviously, it lets you turn quicker and all that other kind of stuff. Um, I play goalkeeper for a VFO. Club VFL Motherwell. Um, but obviously, I know a lot of right wing backs, left wing backs who play at the top, top level, and they told me, look, this is it. This is exactly it. Um, as you can see, look at the pace. It's already boosted, you know, in comparison to my other video uh, where it wasn't boosted as much. Um, so, guys, look, this should be enough. Realistically, this should be enough. I'm going to come back to this part, guys, so keep watching. I'm going to come back to this part to show you how else you can maneuver around this, right? Um, Pace-wise, I don't think you need all of this. Some people would even say don't even use that because, look, this is a lot of pace. And that's five, you know, skill points you're using on some extra sprint speed. Well, not even. Uh, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's not really worth at the end of the day, guys, if you're really deep here. Um, you can use those five skill points somewhere else. The reason why I said I'll come back to this is because I want to show you how this links in with everything else. Um... Now, defending is an interesting one, guys, because a sliding tackle is not as necessary as it was last year, right? You have to you have to kind of just understand that. It's really not. Standing tackle is much more important than sliding tackle. And I've made a video last time, and um, a pro player told me, you know, look, CDM, I'm not going to slide in a lot. Center back, I'm not going to slide in a lot. So, guys, avoid the sliding tackle because it's going to ruin your standing tackle. And there's absolutely no point because, like I said, you will not be using the slide tackle. I mean, it's one skill point. So, if you're really picky about it, then feel free to add it. It's one skill point. Um, I personally don't and I wouldn't. And I, the people I talk to, they don't. So, that's how I, I sort it out, guys, uh, in terms of that. So, make sure you have that because that's very important. Now, jumping and strength. Very important, right? Stamina may be uh, not as much, right? But jumping is important uh, at the end of the day. You need it as a centre-back. You're going to be jumping for a lot of headers, and you're going to need it for sure. Stamina, like I said, not as important. You want to boost that strength, obviously, um, and obviously give yourself the physical focus as well. Now, um, the reason why I wouldn't probably add this is because, like you can see, I'm just trying to show you like the stamina boost. I don't think it's as necessary there. Uh, and I'd probably take that one away as well, uh, to be absolutely honest with you. Just give yourself that little boost there, and that should be perfectly fine. Now, defending, I showed you. Now, agility and balance, you want, might want to increase it, guys. I'll be honest with you. And if you want to increase your agility and balance, make sure to only increase it to this point. Because then if you give yourself balance speciality, you lose a bit of dribbling and so... The same with agility advanced focus. Maybe if you want agility speciality, but like I said, once again, it's down to you. Um, I don't feel like it is the most necessary thing to have. But look, 77 agility, 79 balance, and then you have also 80. F look at the pace, man. Uh, it's absolutely deadly. Uh, you can give yourself a power header. If you want to be attacking headers on the other side of the pitch, give yourself a power header. It's very, very useful in that sense. Um, so that's what I would do, definitely. And then, obviously, in terms of passing, uh, it has to do with more short passing. Give yourself a swerve pass so you can just 
pass the ball out basically from defense um, and that's really it guys I mean apart from that look I, I you know this is what they gave me right now you can add whatever the hell you want right so if you want to go back to pace and give yourself the extra boost you can I don't see a need in it guys what I would do instead is I'll go over to dribbling give myself more of a ball control I mean look at that ball control it's gonna be making you absolutely OP and obviously lose on that look at a 91 ball control on the center but look at these stats three star three star i don't think you need more than three star week for you're not going to be really using that anyway and guys, that is the build. Let me know what you think about it. I think this is an OP centre-back build. Make sure to like the video if it helped you. Make sure to subscribe as well, guys. And as always, make sure to check out all my other series because you don't want to miss out. If I become big, I won't be able to answer your questions, guys. There will be a flood of them. <laughs> guys, let's get um, let's get involved. You know, let's help each other out in the comments as well. Keep it positive, guys. And until next time, peace.